So over the last month, you guys have been loving my analysis of YouTube movie critics, including The Critical Drinker and Nerd Rotic, so it's only right that I react to the recent Piers Morgan video that came out today, where The Critical Drinker and Nerd Rotic both had the opportunity to debate Disney live on air. And The Critical Drinker makes some bulletproof points that hit the nail on the head for why Disney is failing. However, I must say that the one issue I do take with this debate before we get started started is the fact that Piers Morgan chose not to have equal numbers from each side, as I would have liked to have seen two movie critics like The Drinker and Nerd Rotic against two people from Disney, however that's just nitpicking and I guess we'll take what we can get as they have one person here representing Disney and both The Critical Drinker and Nerd Rotic to combat against that. But without further ado, let's get in with The Critical Drinker's opening statements. There's no doubt Disney's in a pretty poor run at the moment, how much of that is down to to woking up the movies? I mean, I think it's definitely a factor, but it's uh, part of a much bigger picture um, that incorporates other issues like a general decline in storytelling quality, a prioritization of quantity over quality, and yeah, like delving too much into identity politics, which by their nature are divisive. Of course they are. Uh, and so all of those different factors working together have slowly undermined their uh, their creative output. And straight away, what the critical drinker says here is perfect, because a movie critic's job is not to be a political commentator. It needs to always be more focused on the story and what benefits the movie as a whole. And so that's why he says here that ideology is just one of the many issues that Disney has right now, as their writing has been downright atrocious as well, along with their CGI being horrendous. So yes, they're being way too preachy in their movies, and that takes you out of the story. However, like the Critical Drinker says, that's just one of the many issues that Disney has. So can the narrative of YouTube movie critics all being bigoted finally stop? Because the best ones, like the Critical Drinker, only bring it up because it is clearly damaging the stories. So now let's get to Nerd Roddick's opening statements as well. She-Hulk, for example, was a great comic book. It was reverent. It had, it broke the fourth wall. This is one of my favorite female Marvel characters, and they destroyed her because they don't know what they're doing. Now, this is extremely right, because Disney's failure to execute a story completely ruined She-Hulk. They destroyed a character with potential, and once again tried to pretend that the ideology of the show is what makes it good. However, no, you also need good character development, in which She-Hulk had absolutely none, because they took a character that could have actually been good on the screen and chose to make her so insufferable you couldn't empathize with that character one bit and not to mention the fact that from episode one to episode six or whatever was the last episode of the series she didn't grow in any single way there was zero character arc she was perfect from start to finish and that just isn't a recipe for a good story so yes choosing to focus on ideology completely pulled you out of anything that could have been entertaining. However, the execution of the show as well was so poor, and that's why people didn't like this character. So straight away in this debate, we've had two bulletproof opening statements from both the Critical Drinker and Nerd Roddick, and now we get to hear from the person who I think is a Disney representative due to the title here, but I have never heard of this guy before, but let's hear what he has to say. And I I think the issue is, is that no one here is actually really reading the real strategy. The problem is several things. There's a missing implication. There has been, arguably, um, films that were super successful. Black Panther had a predominantly black cast, not all black cast, and made $1.3 billion at the box office and had a really successful sequel. So straight away, he's already destroyed his own argument by talking about Black Panther, because listen to what Nerd Roddick has to say to combat this. But we're not... But you Going back to Black Panther, do you know, did Black Panther succeed because there were black people in it? No. no it was a great story. It was a recognizable character 
that comic fans that I have been reading since I was six and seven years old. Because Black Panther is proof that diversity doesn't make a film bad or good. It's the story that's behind it that will either result in the movie being loved or being hated. And that's what us quote unquote toxic critics have been trying to say for years. However, we continue to be shut down and called so many different names when at the end of the day, we're just fighting for better movies movies. Because you can also look at other examples from the MCU, like Ant-Man or Thor, which both have white male characters, yet we all hated both Thor Love and Thunder and Ant-Man 3 because the story was horrendous. So once again, we're not judging whether or not we hate a Marvel movie based on how diverse the cast is, we're judging it based on how poorly or how well executed the story is, and in the case of of almost everything that Marvel has released lately, it has all been executed so badly, so no, you don't get to focus your argument around us being bigoted when we also chose to rip apart Ant-Man 3 and Thor Love and Thunder. But anyways, I digress. Let's continue to listen to what this guy has to say. However, what's missing in this conversation is that the reason why a lot of these films are not doing as well is because many of them are spinoffs, sequels, or there's just overall fatigue in the market where people want original stories. So yes, he is highlighting a problem here that I completely agree with, but like the Critical Drinker said, it's not the only problem. Because the problem that he's saying here was already mentioned by the Critical Drinker himself, saying yes, they're struggling to tell original stories. They're focusing on quantity over quality, and they're also choosing to lecture the fans with whatever ideology they want in the movie, but each part of that that is just one piece of the puzzle that comes together to create the mess that is Disney right now. So it's not just a matter of being original and all your movies will succeed, they also need to be executed well too, and you also can't be so focused on quantity, you need to be focused more so on the execution and the quality of these projects. Because look at a movie like Elemental, which I believe was an original story, yet it absolutely failed and wasn't received very well because the execution wasn't there. So yes, I agree, they need to be more original, they need to stop with all of the remakes, all of the sequels, however, you can't just make out like that's the only issue that Disney has and that by fixing their originality, they'll somehow get back to being profitable. And I would also say that it comes down to the way in which they treat their audience as well, because Disney don't seem to be approaching any of their stories with any kind of empathy, and they more so seem to be lecturing their audience and talking down to their very fan base. Because you can look at other movies that are extremely diverse, also have some ideology in there, yet because they choose to entertain the audience as well, and they also don't talk down to the audience, they can still succeed and be received very well. Because all you have to do is look at a movie like Get Out, which focuses heavily on race relations, has a lot of political themes, a lot of ideology behind it, yet I have zero issue with that movie. That movie received rave reviews because it was also focused on the entertainment, and more importantly, it was just an empathetic story that portrayed a true perspective of being a black American with without lecturing or judging the people that are watching the film. And that's all movies are meant to be about. They're meant to come from a true place, an empathetic place, and just portray a perspective and not judge, lecture, or talk down to the audience. And to end this debate, Nerd Roddick puts the final nail in the coffin by making a great point like this. None of their... Very few of their movies have made money because the budgets have blown up beyond a record. We don't even know. We just learned that Doctor right. Strange cost around $300 million <clears throat> without marketing. Because with budgets that high, it's almost impossible to be profitable because you end up needing to make a billion dollars off of every single movie in order to just make enough to maintain the company, let alone grow it. So why don't you reduce the budgets because clearly you don't need budgets that high to make a good story. You can look at so many 
other examples like Dune or any of the early work from the MCU, that's one of their biggest issues, which once again, nothing to do with diversity, nothing to do with politics, is just a simple element of filmmaking that is crucial to trying to make sure that you actually make a profit from your movie, yet still don't damage the quality. And so I guess my closing thoughts on this is that both critics and Disney themselves clearly know that they have problems, so why don't we stop arguing and start creating better movies so everyone can be happy? And I've also got to commend the critical drinker for continuing to get better at articulating his points, as he's so concise and does it better than almost any other critic out there on social media, so honestly, he's a big reason why the tide is turning, why people are finally realizing why they don't like recent Disney and Marvel movies, and he's also grown a platform that is giving all the fans a voice to Disney so that they can listen to their consumer directly and hopefully start implementing what our feedback is and start entertaining the masses once again. But what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below in the comments. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.